Thank yous to health care workers are becoming a normal part of our new normal. From citywide cheers in places like New York City to parades in towns across the country. Today, two Rhode Island hospitals received a special thank you of their own. Eyewitness News reporter Logan Wilbur has the story. After fighting the coronavirus for more than two months, these local health care heroes received a thank you from one of their main partners in this fight. A special thank you, leaving doctors and nurses on cloud nine. A flyover performed by the Rhode Island National Guard at Kent and Rhode Island hospitals to show appreciation for the work being done by hospital workers, providing them with a brief moment of joy. You know, it doesn't always feel like that inside the hospital. This is a crazy time that we're all in. What's been going on inside has been nothing short of amazing. Our teams have really stepped up to provide the highest level of care and support for these patients who are really struggling to make it through this uh, situation. The National Guard has seen this work firsthand, partnering with both hospitals to build and to operate testing sites and also field hospitals in the battle against the coronavirus, making this parade and aerial thank you extra significant. To really have them be part of this is a big deal. It was just really exciting to, to come out here and see the celebration. Each of us are a little bit nervous during this time span, and so to be able to really have the support uh, is really phenomenal. While this partnership and the fight against COVID-19 isn't over yet, it's these moments which remind these heroes why they do what they do. Just to have you know the community show that you know they're right behind us with us. If you know if they can't be in the hospital with us, they're going to be there supporting everything we do. is is really cool. It's really heartwarming to see. <laughs> And Dr. Murphy says it's the hard work of everyone involved, which has allowed the hospitals to reopen for surgeries and emergencies in such a short amount of time, something which could not have been done without the help of the National Guard. Reporting in Warwick, Logan Wilbur, Eyewitness News.